हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुप्रिया घोषल फैकल्टी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज पाइल फाउंडेशंस इन प्रीवियस पार्ट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पाइल्स एंड देयर एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस इन दिस पार्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ पाइल दैट इज शीट पाइल sheet piles are never used to provide vertical support but mostly it is used to act as a retaining wall they are used for the following purpose like construct retaining wall in docks and other marine works to protect the erosion of river bank to retain the sides of foundation trenches to protect the foundation of structure from erosion by river or sea next is under ramped pile these piles are developed by cbri rocks in up to serving the foundation for black cotton soil field of ground and other type of soils having poor bearing capacity the under ramped is a cast in situ concrete pile having one or more bulbs or under ramps in its lower portion the bulbs or under ramps are formed by under ramming tool the diameter of under ramp pile varies from 20 to 50 cm of that of bulb varies from 2 to 3 times of diameter of pile next is in this slide i have discussed about the load carrying capacity of pile the bearing capacity of individual pile may be determined by two type of formula number 1 dynamic formula number 2 static formula and different type of test number 3 pile load test number 4 penetration test first one is dynamic formula engineering formula q equal to wh by f into s plus c q means safe load in kg w equal to weight in hammer in kg h equal to height of fall in hammer in centimeter f equal to factor of safety generally we take factor of safety equal to 6 s equal to average penetration of pile in last n blows in centimeter for drop hammer n equal to 5 and for steam hammer n equal to 25 next there is some empirical constant if there is no losses of energy driven in pile then for drop hammer c equal to 2.5 cm for steam hammer c equal to 0.25 cm now the formula of drop hammer equal to q equal to w into h by 6 into s plus 2.5 and for single acting steam hammer q equal to w into h by 6 into s plus 0.25 for double acting steam hammer q equal to w plus ap into h by 6 into s plus 0.25 where a equal to area of piston in centimeter square and p equal to mean effective steam pressure in kg per centimeter square and number 2 is modified heilis formula in dynamic formulas there are two formula number 1 already i have told engineering formula and number 2 is modified heilis formula q equal to eta h into w into h into eta b by s plus c by 2 where q equal to safe load or ultimate load in kg W equal to weight of hammer in kg. Eta h equal to efficiency of hammer. 
h equal to height of fall of hammer in centimeter and eta b equal to efficiency of hammer blow. In this slide I have discussed about some condition where w greater than e p and w less than e p. Here c1, c2, c3 is constant temporarily elastic compression of dolling and packing, pile and soil respectively. Eta b equal to efficiency of hammer and the formula of eta b equal to w plus e square p by w plus p for case when w greater than e p and when w less than e p then the formula of eta b is w plus e square p by w plus p minus w minus e p by w plus p whole square where p equal to weight of pile or helmet and e equal to coefficient of restorations. In this slide I have discussed about static formula. The ultimate load bearing capacity of a pile is equal to the sum of total skin friction acting on the surface area of the embedded portion of pile and end bearing resistance acting on the pile top. The basic formula of static fo is QU equal to QF plus QB where QF equal to AF into QF plus QB equal to AB into QB. Here QU means ultimate load bearing capacity and AF equal to surface area of pile on which the skin friction acts. AF equal to pi BD and AB means cross sectional area of pile at its top and AB cross sectional area equal to pi by 4 B square and QF equal to unit skin friction and QB equal to point bearing resistance of soil at pile top. So, the final formula of QU equal to QF into pi BD plus QB into pi by 4 B square where D equal to depth of pile and B equal to diameter of pile. In static formula for cohesive and non-cohesive soil if the frictional resistance QF if we consider for cohesive soil what is the formula? QF equal to alpha into Cu. Here Cu means cohesion and alpha means addition factor. From different type of material the cohesion and addition factor is different. Like if I consider pile material is timber then the cohesion factor range is 0 to 3.75 and addition factor or alpha the value is 1 to 0 0.90. For concrete the value is 3.75 to 7.5 or 7.5 to 15 and the value of alpha is 0 0.9 to 0 0.6 or 0 0.6 to 0 0.45. And the last material if I consider steel then the value of cohesion and addition factor is 0 0.375 to 0 0.75 or 3.75 to 7.5 or 7.5 to 50. And for cohesion less soil what is the formula? The formula is QF equal to KS into gamma D into tan gamma. KS means coefficient of lateral earth pressure. Gamma means unit weight of soil. D means depth of pile. And tan gamma means friction angle between pile and soil which depends on angle of internal friction or phi. The value of tan phi for concrete 3 4 phi for wood 2 3rd phi and for steel it is 20 degree. In this slide 
I have discussed about group action of pile. When several closely spaced pile are grouped together, it is responsible to expect the soil pressure developed in the soil to resist stains will overlap. The bearing capacity of pile group may or may not be equal to some of the bearing capacity of individual pile consisting the group. Day and test have shown in total bearing value that is QUG of group of friction pile and it may be less than the product of the friction bearing value that is QUP of an individual pile multiplied by the number of piles n in group. There is no reduction due to group actions where n bearing pile for combined n bearing and frictional pile only the load carrying capacity of frictional portion is reduced. The method of estimating the bearing capacity of group pile of friction pile to multiply the quantity eta QVP by the reduction factor called efficiency of pile group and the formula is QUG equal to eta into QUP into eta G where QUG equal to load carried by group action of pile, QUP equal to load carried by each friction pile and N equal to number of pile, eta G equal to efficiency of pile group. In this slide, I have discussed about pile load test. Preliminary pile design is first carried out on the basis of site investigations and laboratory soil testing and office study. Pile load tests are then carried out to refine and finalize the design. For these conditions, the test piles are generally tested and failure. What are the equipment of pile load test? Number one is anchor girder, two hydraulic jack, number three test pile, number four anchor pile, number five dial gauges and last one is reaction truss or in case of truss loading. Then procedure, first is setup consists of two anchor pile provided with an anchor girder or reaction girder at the top. Next the test pile is installed between the anchor pile as like foundation pile is installed and test pile should be at least 3B or 2.5 meter clear from the anchor pile. Third is the test is conduct after rest period of 3 days after the installation of sandy soil and the period of 1 month in sites and soft clay. Number 4 is loads is applied through the hydraulic jack resting on the reaction girder or truss. And last one is the load is applied in equal increment or about 20% of the allowable load. The settlement should be recorded with 3 dial gauges. Next, each stage of the loading maintained till the rate of movement of pile top not more than 0.1 millimeter per hour. In sandy soil, it is 0.02 millimeter per hour. In case of clay soil, it is maximum in 2 hours. Then the settlement is observed 0.5, then 1, then 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 60 minutes. The load is removed the same decrement in 1 hour interval and the final rebound record 24 hour after enter the load has been removed. In this slide I have discussed about the calculation of pile load test. The net pile settlement that is SN equal to ST minus SE. ST means total settlement or gross settlement and SE means elastic settlement and SN means net settlement. In this slide I have discussed about negative skin frictions. The negative skin friction is downward drag action on the pile due to downward movement of surrounding compressible soil relative to the pile. It happens when the surrounding compressible soil has been recently filled or formed. 
as the soil consolidated the art field moves downward developing screen friction force on the perimeter of the pile which tends to carry the pile further into the ground the negative screen friction may be also developed by the flowing on the ground waters for individual pile the magnitude of negative screen friction qnf is taken number 1 is cohesive soil qnf equal to p into c into lf for granular soil qnf equal to half into lf square p into gamma into k into f where p equal to perimeter of the pile lf equal to depth of fill or soil which is moving vertically c equal to cohesion of soil k equal to earth pressure coefficient gamma equal to unit weight of soil and f equal to coefficient of friction